long-term relationships. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Go. We would have thought you were having a very easy time with committing to one person <laughs> What with your schedule and being a musician. <laughs> yeah. We, everyone thought that it was going to be uh, Aren't easy. you surprised? Yeah. <laughs> A walk in the park with you. What's going on, Mark? What's happening? <laughs> well, it's weird now because right now, for well, for the first time in literally a decade, I am in like a good, healthy, committed thing with a really excellent human being. And it caught me by surprise and I was not looking for it. Act, kind of actively rejecting that because and I thought it's Erica Badu. It's <laughs> yeah, we can announce it here. <laughs> Erica, come on out. Come on out. Yeah. <laughs> and she has one of her giant head things on. We have to like have to move. Help her yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, but basically, it just I don't know. I I think that it, it, it's made me realize that for a long time, I think it's possible that I could have been capable of like loving someone but i believe that i was really afraid of what it does to me you know it's like i jump in very hard and at, at first i think that's okay but i think you have to learn to like live with someone reasonably you know what i mean and like be your own person and shit but i, I i've realized that i have a tendency to get overly obsessive involved put all of my energy into the person. And I think I, I it, somewhere in the back of my mind, I was aware of that and didn't want to flip that switch, you know? So yeah. it was like, had you done it in smaller doses? So to speak? yeah. And, yeah. But, uh, but and with the wrong people, it turns with out. the wrong people yeah. a decade prior, yeah. you know? And it was, it was that. And it was also just not right. But from then that moment on, and then this, the music thing started happening. So then I'm touring. And first of all, it's just harder to do right. that. Um, and then, yeah, I just very consciously, verbally, regularly kept it casual one time, no more than three times, you know, this kind of thing where it's, I do not develop an attachment. And you would say upfront. Yes. No. somewhat up front within the first evening you know <laughs> okay I mean? no, no no i'm not saying like you like but Introduce don't don't myself. say a word <laughs> yeah no 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 before yeah. you tell me about your day all right well as somebody who's been had a similar approach at, now i have a great girlfriend and it's going oh yeah great. yeah that's but great my question is do you say that yeah. you say to the to the woman that is interested and you're interested in, uh, in her yeah how many of them understood and believe what you were saying percentage wise that i was a casual dude and that i wasn't didn't want anything beyond yeah oh i mean i think we all say it and then but some of our behavior leads them to believe that we like that's this true. is the behavior of a guy who wants to be more yeah, connected because, to like, me th that's yeah it's i mean I, I understand that occasionally it was confusing probably you know it's like if i saw someone multiple times I do exhibit those qualities of like, I'm being kind and considerate mm -hmm. and doing things. And, you know, it's like, these are just things, but I think, I think of it as I'm being kind and we've already established that I don't, you know, so, but, um, the great philosopher, Ali Wong once said, <laughs> clarity is kindness, mm. which I agree with. The problem clarity. is it's hard to, it, it, people you know, if it's good, if it's a good connection. Exactly. And and you've slept with them. Right. It's just a very hard thing to like. I feel like it's next to impossible. Yeah. You know, to like have that tenderness with someone and yeah. see them multiple times yeah. and for feelings not to develop in some way yeah. for one of you. You know, it's like me, I was very good at like, I already know I this is not going to last. So like I'm already detached. I'm not there. Yeah. I'm enjoying the fantasy of being tender with somebody. Right. With the knowledge that I will never see them again. You know, that sort of thing. Yeah. And um, and I would say it, it, that it, in a much nicer way, you know, in a much more sort of considerate way. But to that effect, yeah, I would I would say that. But it turns out. You would say, it's not going to happen, baby. Yeah. <laughs> baby, <laughs> listen to me. <laughs> this thing ain't going to work out. All right.
Yeah. Take a walk. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's that's the nice that was your nice one. That was the nice one. Yeah. 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 Fantastic. Yeah, it's just it's like, of course, of course we're capable of big, beautiful, life affirming love. You just have to be and also it took g- encountering someone who yeah, really made me want to like, do in that in some ways it's like you're not into it until you are That's, i guess it's was that too you know cuz it well i didn't even think about it with her with my girlfriend i I, yeah. I just i met her and we had this date that just blew my mind i was like i just want to see her again yeah. and then i want to see her again and i want to see her again and and then you're just, yeah, it's, I it's don't know. The thing that me and my girlfriend talk about is it has to be self-interest. Mm. It mm. has to be, mm. I I want to see you again. Yeah. I'm not doing it as a favor to you. Right. I'm not doing it because I because sh- we slept together and I owe you. <laughs> yeah. I'm doing it because it's better to be with you than by myself. Man. Or it's awfully close. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Uh, and but it, we just get caught up in all these other reasons. I think that's a really lovely way of thinking about it. Yeah, you're right. It's it's selfish. Yeah, like I want it. No, I I'm doing. I'm here for me. Yeah, I don't give a fuck about you. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah, Best of luck. Me you feel figure you good. out. Yeah. Yeah. And I want to be here for me. I don't. Yeah. I'm not. I'm not doing. I'm not going on vacation. I'm not taking you on vacation. Right. <laughs> We're yeah. going. I'm excited to go on vacation with you. Yeah, but it it's Im- because of the sex and because of the social shit. It's very hard to decouple obligation and shit. Yeah. And what are they going to say? And da, 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 da. it's like, no, I just I'd fuck with you, and I want to. That's it's so simple once it works. Like yeah. once once it clicks, it's like it is automatic. It's like reflex. I'm not. I don't. I haven't thought about it really once. It's just like. Just and what's the love? What are the how long has it been? Eight months. And what are like sort of the features of it? Um, well, she lives here. I live in New York, um, but she is from Brooklyn, Great. and so she's back and forth. I'm back and forth. Kind of works in that way. Yeah. Um, I'm here. I would say more often because of her, but it's also been good for business. And the the features really, I mean, personally are. She is every bit as um, big a personality and her own person and like this ebullient, you know, um, sociable, graceful, like, you know, she is perfect in a room. She's engaging. I fuck me. You know, it's like it's just she is her with or without me. Yeah. And that is hyper attractive to me. She doesn't need your permission. No, and doesn't want it. And yeah. like, um, wants and to be. And by the way, and doesn't have it. And does, yeah. She, I've forbidden her yeah, to leave times. the apartment. And you've taken her out of parties. That's right. And said, I will not stand for another minute of this. She says, come on. I said, it's me or nothing. <laughs> You sh- I'll point to you when it's your time to talk. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But yeah, it's just someone who, you know, is like very much an equal and like is just yeah, just independent. I Yeah. That's what I need because like I am that too. Yeah. And yeah, anyway, just I thought that the, you know, the tendency for myself to sort of fall into these weird kind of um it kind of ties into one of my other blocks that I sent you, which is people pleasing, which is something that I've looked at recently in this relationship, which is like this need that I have to make sure that everything's okay. And in doing so, I'm not really being like honest or like doing things that I really want to do in the interest of like just making sure that everything's fine and taking care of everything to because i haven't had a relationship in 10 years you know it's like i'm terrified that if anything goes wrong it'll fall apart and i'll lose this magical thing so i so i was really busying myself for the first six months or so with like really making sure that everything was just perfect like a dance recital yeah and she didn't like that eventually we had this talk and where you know she's like i don't 
I want the you, the person you are without me, with me, like just do your thing. It's more attractive to me when you fuck off and do your thing. Cause like, that's what I like. Don't bother, you know, she's like, it's, and it, I thought about it and I was like, man, it's something about myself that I thought I had fixed long ago in my friendships. I was a real people pleaser to a problematic degree where it was like- What was your low? I don't know if I can think of a specific one, but it was basically like really to the detriment of my happiness. I was doing things for friends. I would like steal money from my parents to go do things with friends because I wanted to say yes to them. You know, yeah, that kind of shit where it's like I'm doing something I inherently know is wrong because I have to. I, have I don't to be I can't, the guy that can do it. I can't disappoint these people. Exactly. Exactly. So that I went through my shit with that and like worked on it and fixed it for the most part. And then I'm here in this relationship. I'm like, I'm doing this again. I am fucking doing this again. It's like this behavior hasn't surfaced in years. And now here I am, like I'm back in my fuck, I'm 21, like doing this bullshit. And it just took her kind of pointing it out and me thinking about it and therapizing about it and all this shit to realize like, wow, I really can just take a deep breath and like live my life and also be in love with somebody and like, that's the healthy version, you know? <laughs> so, yeah. yeah, it was a real revelation. It was like a real It is hard to point. believe, though. Yeah, it it's is. It's hard to believe. I remember having a girlfriend at one point. I go, so you're not mad at me <laughs> for anything? <laughs> and she was like, no, why would an adult woman be mad at a boyfriend all the time? I was like, I don't know, but it keeps happening. Wow. And so now it's it you do have to make a concerted effort to do the self interested thing. Yeah, right. Right. And it is it runs counter to romance, it runs counter to uh 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 you know, masculine virtue and it yeah. runs counter to to everything. Chivalry, all that shit. And but you have to go like, no, I I if I don't the relationship will end if you don't do it. It's a hundred percent that, and you don't. It's hard to realize it, but it's like no, you ha even like with my girlfriend. I'm like, no, I have to approach this and say like, I can't get together tonight. Yeah, right. Or I don't want to get together tonight. Yes. And it's like you don't want. Yeah. And it's like or wh whatever you want, however you want me to couch this. Like, yes, we're individuals. I'm a I'm a I'm a pretty lonery guy. Yeah. And acknowledging that part of yourself, mm. it's hard. It's it's scary. Man, that is it's fascinating. I'm I, I'm glad to hear you say all of that because yeah, I mean it's just yeah it's something that I've been thinking out, and I think yes, having to make a concerted effort. Because, I picture you just being in a shitty apartment in Dallas yeah. for <laughs> years. That's very true. By yourself, yeah, dude. Like that robe wasn't a choice. No. <laughs> That's that wasn't like, uh -huh. <laughs> what should I wear on stage? It's like, no, what well, you were, it's just, that's the other thing that's appealing about it. It's like, yeah. you're just watching a guy in his room. It looks like you're in your room. Right, right. That's the appeal of Often it. I am. Yeah, you know, that's the guy I'm right. not on but, stage. Right. Yeah. But it's like, if you were going to do a larger show, you could just make the stage, the production design, a room. Yeah, true, true. Like, we did that actually last year at Coachella. We did they reproduced my apartment yeah on stage that's exactly right. what it was yeah. yeah that's like what it what so so yeah like what was the uh what was the sort of impetus for the discussion with the girlfriend about the about um i think it was just like a, one of those things where she was like i'm i'm feeling weird about like i just like feel weird about where we're at you know it just feels like everything is okay all the time but it's not real you know it's, I mean? all right, do you wear it is it on you if you're dissat if you feel like you're self-sacrificing or abandoning yourself yeah yeah could a loved one tell oh uh, yes i probably you know yeah probably i think i probably hide it fairly well but she happens to be extraordinarily perceptive and i think 
it's just any time there's this tiniest thing and I'm not acknowledging or whatever, she's like, the fuck is going on? You know? Yeah. So yeah, she just said something to that effect. And and then uh, we just kind of spent the whole day apart and when I, I went and thought and was just kind of running through shit and then realized, I was like, man, I am, I am doing this exact thing thing that was so destructive to like my friendships my sense of self-worth because did you feel like they owed you if you had done a bunch of stuff did you subtly feel like well why don't they ever do shit for me because that that would happen to me to where i would resent them for not matching my will my contribution right we never agreed to that contribution yeah exactly it's all in your head yeah i think yeah yeah maybe it's like what it was for me but for for me it's like i'm you know, I would be cementing the guarantee of um, me being perceived as a good, solid dude. It's yes, everything is perfect about this. You know what I mean? When it's like, I can, I'll, 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 I'm getting ready to boyfriend the shit out of yeah, you. Yeah, right. Watch. Yeah. Watch me boyfriend. Where are you going to be? Right. <laughs> Yeah. I'm getting ready to boyfriend. Oh, uh, dude. It's and you're, so mi- I, it's like, I don't, but I don't like it. No, I don't like it. Just suffocating. Uh, yes. No, don't suffocating myself. do that. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Oh, you want me to suffocate? <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. I got you. I got By you. The, and she doesn't. Right, right. It's just this, this thing of you think she does. Yeah, it's, dude, totally, totally. And once I, once I just unraveled that little piece of it, then I could think of it in the context of all the other shit in my past and the way. And then I was like, oh man, that's, that's it. Like I just need to fucking chill really is it. (laughs) It's like chill and continue to do all the things I've been doing for the last 10 years for myself. There's just this other, this other person who I dig meet her after my life, meet her afterward. meet her after. We'll fucking hang out. You'll you won't have the oblig you won't have the resentment of the unmet obligation and all that shit. It's like yeah, for the last whatever month or so, I don't know how long it's been since we had that talk, but yeah, it's been it's just been continually better in that way, and it's just yeah, it feels, and I feel more this like like this burden has been lifted somewhat, and I'm allow I uh, allowing myself just to be whatever the fuck grumpy leave you know all this shit that i would do be whatever like, you want should don't, I? don't cheat yeah fuck that but pretty much do whatever you want mm. you know what i mean like mm. or or uh meet your own needs meet have your needs whatever meet your needs but don't cheat don't mm. that's the that's where i do that's the, the one thing yeah. yeah uh unless you have to yeah <laughs> Hey, did you like that? Did you like that? Yeah, did you like it though? You want more? Don't want to work? Would rather watch videos of me grab assing with people? First of all, go up here to subscribe and then go up here to uh, watch more clips. This is like when the weatherman says that there's a high pressure system coming in. Although I'm not really used to the green screen.